is going on, dudes, dudettes, all of you across this wonderful platform. Today, we have the special live stream for version 2.5 with Bei Zhao and Linksha being the front runners of the banners. Now, what does that mean? Well, we're getting a giant Foxy and General Mommy, right? Well, not giant, but you get what I mean. Um, I'm very excited for her and I can't wait to see what's going on. One of my hopes is that we get some Fate Stay Night collab info, which they've been dripping a little bit. But we'll see as we go in. Oh god, the IPC! And whether or not your world has a day night cycle, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. You should I'm your good buddy, March 7th. We're doing an actual we'll animated one, okay. We'd heard about the I can dig this! And now look! I am currently on the Sienjo Lofu, where the ceremony will be held, bringing you the first on-site report. Hey, March 7th! Oh, never mind. Shooting outside doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Stay out, I can remember. Uh, don't worry, Albert. Oh, never mind. I recently started training under my new masters, and those moves you just saw were legit. <laughs> and look at my outfit. Isn't it just so cute? It's very pretty. Give me the rest of your oh, idol on so I can actually right. use you fully. What kind of host starts showing off their outfit before they even finish introduction? How do you know the audience doesn't want to see this? Hey, chat, let us know how you feel about my outfit. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> March 7th, the streamer. Many years of experience. Let me remind our amateur host who's only done this twice. It's time to start the program. Oh, uh, oh, right. Uh, up next, explore the Sienjo with March 7th. We're not at that part yet. Huh? Oh, uh, all for just $19.99. This special discount is only available from the Interstellar Shopping Network. What the heck have you been watching on the day and Jones? What is going on? It's time for the expert to take over. Watch and learn. Play the trailer. Here we go, trailer, baby. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get my cologne ready. Welcome I gotta get ready for Fei Zhao. To the war There's Luca. Luca's about to participate. That's gonna be sick, actually. Mm, spicy, stimulating. Something ominous has arrived. Welcome, Miss Lingsha. I am Preceptor Tauron. Wait, is Lingsha gonna be the first of two? God, she's gorgeous, though. I need her in a room with Hu Tao and Sparkle. Okay. The prison break in the shackling prison. Oh my god, yes! You caught too? Bro! Hey, yo! Dude, she's so fine, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that's gonna be such an epic fight. Holy crap. Wait, what? The arrows of the hunt will pierce the heart of every monster. Bro. That trailer. Alright, we got the first code, man. Hello, man. That is actually an epic trailer, especially from like what we saw in the actual like quest line before, you know, like they said, hey, we'll be back again soon with the quest line stuff. But man, that was huge. Are we going to get Linksha first? If we get Linksha first, I might actually be a little bit upsetty spaghetti. I really, really want. I want Beige out first. I want I want my Foxy and mom, dude. My mommy, man. Give me her. But dude, she looks so sick. <laughs> like, oh my god. Bro. Those attacks look so sick. And the animations are looking so good as well. Holy crap. Woo, baby. Come on. Let's go to the next part. It's a characters. To the version 2.5 Flying Aurea Shot to Lupine Rue Special Program. I'm sure you all are brimming with anticipation. I am. In that trailer. 
With that in mind, let's send it back over to our correspondent on the CN Show and see what's been happening there. Hello, March 7th. This is so, like, really cute. I like March this. Hello, We're in the CN Show. Our... It's a... Uh, <laughs> March 7th. Uh, yeah, We're in the CN Show. Our... <laughs> Could you briefly yeah, describe to I... us? <clears throat> okay, this is actually kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> Seems like it's a little delay, huh? How about this March 7th? Then I'll Why just don't get you just started. say? Hey! <laughs> okay, I'll be quiet. Uh, dear viewers, I am at the venue where the war dance will take place. The Sky Splitter! Let me tell you a secret. It seems like something big will happen on the CN Show. In this very spot. One of the... Uh, March 7th? Gosh, no, 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 darn it. Get the most important part, director. Uh, th 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 turn it up now. But, uh, we're having a little hiccup. Gosh, darn it. Our broadcast, so uh, let me introduce the very special guest for today's program. Hey, Charles, what you be? Cauldron Master of the Cienjo Law Fools Alchemy Commission, Lingsha. I That Lingsha. was so cool, it's a actually. Pleasure to meet everyone. The Merlin's Claw, the Xian Zhou Yao Jing. Bei Shao! Hi, everyone. That's Gwenaifen! General Bei Shao is busy dealing with some very important things. So what? She has the little food to have someone who. No! Gosh darn it, man! The Shadow Guard of the Xian Zhou Yao Jing. Mo! Moza! Here. Let's once again. Welcome I. Everyone dude, to I got robbed. I got robbed! <coughs> Part 7. Are you there? Are, are we... are we back? Looks like March might have a problem. Is it serious? <laughs> Looks like we... Hey, Xiao is not here, dang it. Keep his apologies to your guest. Mr. Albert, there's no need to apologize. These things happen. We all understand. Please do not stress so much. It's not good for your health. <laughs> Miss Lingshaw is so right. <laughs> then, uh, let's just focus I'm on so our mad. studio for now. At the end of the they robbed me of Fejo. Um, not so great things happen on the Law Fool. Mr. Albert, are you saying? They've invited so many people to this war dance. It's a huge deal. How could something like a prison break in the Shackling prison happen now? We already kind of knew Mr. that Albert. this was going to happen, so. Let's suppose you wanted permission. Can't see the third see chibi? Program? Yeah, that's fine. It's would me. You follow all the There's no real other place for me to go to right now, so you'll be fine. Or would you mix it in with a bunch of other applications the day before a public holiday? Uh, how did you know I... I just mean, the war dance with the chaos of all the visitors from abroad... Provided it's just Mose. It's no big deal. Advantage. It's no big deal. Suppose also a little rabbit snuck into this studio. Would Mr. Albert let it hide and chew on the wires? Or would he put a few carrots on the table to try and catch it? Rabbits don't chew on wires. I think Miss Lingshaw is just using an analogy. I get it. Setting a bait. Is this what General Jing Yuen meant by wash away the dregs? Let me see what speech the general left for me. It says we need to take this opportunity to give the Wafu a good cleanup. Is there some place on the Wafu that's dirty? Probably. Please be assured. The Cloud Knights have already arrived at the Shackling Prison to begin rescue efforts. General Fei Xiao will personally lead her troops in capturing the escaped portion. They're controversial with the VA. The original VA. It's not the same VA anymore. General Not the same. Jing Yuan will go to the Shackling Prison and investigate how this incident played out, while General Huayan will assist with overseeing the affairs at the Law Food's six commissions. Whew. Hearing the generals are involved makes me feel better already. <laughs> but what about Mr. Zhao Cho? He's still with the Borison. General Fei Xiao says she knows Zhao Cho has his own reasons for doing this, whether mm -hmm. it's to pin down the enemy or gather intelligence. Hope Jiao Cho takes care of himself. Yeah, I hope Jiao Cho I'll don't get hurt. Him. I promise. Uh, uh, frozen screen. March seventh. How was that the time? If I may be so bold to ask, there's one thing I don't understand. If Hu Lei is the Foxian's greatest enemy, why hasn't the Yao Qing gotten rid of him in these past seven hundred years, but instead just sent people to visit him? Uh, apparently, it has something to do with never dying in eternal punishment or something. 
My notes suggest asking General Jing Yuen later. He's better at explaining these things. I think he should have just like been Ms. killed. Ling questions will be cleared up in the Trailblaze Continuance Finest Duel under the Pristine Blue. I can't wait to play through the second part of this. The only thing left is the task of defeating Hu I, I, I. Hey, March, are you volunteering again? <sighs> Seems like it's not lagging anymore on my end. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. <sighs> awesome. Uh, where She's are live again. Where are you defeat Hule? Huh? <laughs> yep, March 7th's gonna fight Hule. <laughs> All right, that's enough jokes for now. The audience is getting What? Come on, March 7th can do <laughs> it. Believe in her. Yes! Mommy! Oh my god. Dude, she looks so freaking cool! She got a gun blade and a giant axe, bro. Bro! Let's go! As we all know, General Bei Xiao never loses in battle. And his mm. the vanquishing general okay. in the alliance. Today, we're lucky to get a look at the general's Let's go, baby. That's Faye Zhao. General said, Great victories are won by the whole army. It would be quite narcissistic. Stop making her, well, I mean, me to take all make, her, make her sound old. That's lacking fine. General, I like old him. Lacking in worries, regrets, and rivals. We can also add, lacking in care for others' opinions of her. Lacking in respect for her doctor's advice and lacking wow. in peers when she's had too much to drink. That's what Zhao Cho said, and I agree. <gasps> Is that really true? Everyone has their own way of doing things. I find this kind of gen. Zhao Zhao's so sick, bro. But still, you should really. I am so soaked on her. I will uh -huh. make a team for her. 100%. The storyteller always talks about how General Fei Xiao leads the charge in battles. I just never thought she'd be so... What's the word again? Careless? Carefree. I heard the verdant knights of the Yaoxing are an elite force composed mostly of Faxians. They're the arrowheads in the hunt for abominations. And their fighting style is exactly like General Fei Shao's. <laughs> I leave the strategizing to people like Jing Yuan and Yao Guang. My duty is to be the arrow that helps pierce the hearts of the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Got her to a T, bro. I've been learning Sun Sienjo martial arts. Did General Fei Xiao leave any training secrets that you could share with me? Uh, the general didn't mention anything. But according to Su Shang, on the Yao Qing, they probably do 60 sets of strength exercises and then run 20 miles for cardio. Aw, I think I underestimated yeah. the Yao Ching. The general used to train me this way. It's not bad. Isn't there a saying like, life lies in movement? Running makes you happy, so everyone should give it a try. I Only mean, yeah, car I love my cardio days. That's going to be today is cardio day. Stronger than everyone else. <laughs> Next, let's take a look at the general's heroism in battle let's hear it. general face shall follows the path of the hunt and excels in all kinds of tar battles. target dps yeah attack and skill deal wind damage to the enemy using gun blades and a battle axe for yeah support. the general she's also so works cool closely with her allies after her teammates attack the enemy face shall will launch a follow-up attack and increase the damage dealt to the enemy God, she's general so sick. Accumulates flying aureus after every certain number of attacks. That's right. After she uses her skill, Fei Xiao will immediately trigger her talent's follow-up attack one time. When she uses her Bro, ultimate, that's so Fei Xiao cool. consumes six points. Oh, of that ultimate is so sick. She just goes Super Saiyan, bro. With her gun blades or battle axe. Then she strikes the enemy with a final blow. Dude, flying she's so cool. 12 points. Oh my god, Different man. Combat strategies are needed to I'm so happy with this. States. For example, the gun blades deal more damage to weakness broken enemies. Mm -hmm. But if the enemy is not weakness broken, the That's so cool. So depending on what uh, Oh my god, bro. 
striking the enemy with a force that could Bro. shatter the sky. That's so insane. Yes, is the spirit is bestowed upon the general by the I'm like so happy about this character actually. I'm like so stoked. This is like going to be one of my favorite characters. So very unique. Using it during exploration increases her movement speed and pulls in multiple enemies within a certain radius. If the general attacks while in her technique state, the enemies pulled in will enter combat and she will deal damage to all of them. The general will also gain flying auras points and the more enemies pulled in, the higher her damage. The azure dragon draws forward and the flying aureus <laughs> the grace of What the is that? Truly admirable. I can just, just imagine the freaking craziness that goes on with this, all right? It's worked up. Dude, that art. General Faisal's animated short and myriad Celestia videos will be released soon. I'm really looking yes! forward to them. I'm reacting to those. Get the Dysons, boys. A brand new trial for the Trailblazers called Echo of War Inner Beast Battlefield. We get to fight Faisal Zhao as a boss? I, I can't with this update. I'm losing it, Scoobs. Bro. <sighs> Looks like our tradition of fighting friends wherever we go continues. I smell the scent of blood. This flying Aureus state seems unusual. Yes. The opponent in this trial is a shadow of the general and an apparition of flying Aureus, the ecliptic inner beast. As the saying goes, if you know yourself and I'm thirsty, you will not chat. Lose if you're thirsty too, battle. you're thirsty after mommy. Before you take on just make sure you trial, use co I'm you use code ties for gamer subs. Battlefield report for you. Ecliptic inner beast and shadow of facial have three phases. Ecliptic inner beast will join the battle starting from the second phase. Dude, she Either looks so the cool. Beast with can this. separately apply different debuffs to our team. In battle, Shadow of Face. She's got a Kamehameha, dude. Beast's parts. She has a Kamehameha, dude. Next action to be enhanced and greatly increase the threat they what pose to the What in the team. hell Shadow of is Face this, ability deals massive damage to all targets. When using this ability, every part that is yet to be broken will increase the damage dealt by the ability, and the ability will enhance the parts that are not weakness broken. It seems like the best strategy is to weakness break the inner beast parts. Oh, that's going to be an awesome firefly fight. Possible. Then, Shadow of Feishao is much less dangerous. Attacking the weakness broken inner beast parts will deal even more damage to Shadow of Feishao. After completing the trial, you will be able to obtain Auspice Sliver, Ling Sha and Moza's advanced trace materials. Friendly reminder, the advanced trace materials used by General Feishao is Regret of Infinite Okuma. Next, I'd like to introduce the new Bro. Cauldron Master who has returned to the Law Fu from the Zero. Lingsha! Miss Lingsha! She's gorgeous. Her what her attacks are so elegant, bro! Oh, how I wish I could lay there. Ma'am. Ma'am. Miss Lingsha. You don't have Firefly? Oof. Graceful as a wisp of smoke. She's and hot, bro. She has a very pleasant scent. <laughs> you flatter me, Miss Gway. I am She's a fire girl, abundance, and I've always though. carried medicinal incense with me. I use fragrances to help me practice. I want to know what her abilities are. Because if she works well in, a, in the Firefly team, then she's gonna take place over Gallagher. But I don't think I don't think she deals with weakness break. Jiao Cho focuses on nutrition and food as medicinal therapy. I use incense to diagnose patients and am very sensitive to smell. After all, every person has their own unique scent. What? Did I hear right? You use smell to diagnose illnesses? A smell 
can convey a lot of information. I need to make sure that I don't smell nasty in front of her, that's for sure. I will not I will not go near her after the gym. Until I shower. As for Miss Way, I detect the lively notes of fruit and the refreshing scent of citrus. It must mean Miss Gway has very few worries. <laughs> but I'm not really all that amazing. Cauldron Master, you're amazing. <laughs> what about me? Huh? What do I smell like? Smell like bird. Hmm. Mr. Albert takes things in stride and is very clever. You have the scent of a very smart bird. Oh, you. <laughs> Let's get back on topic. I heard that you returned to the law of food this time and urgently taken up the position of head of the Alchemy Commission. What's going on? <laughs> to be honest, after the Ambrosial Arbor disaster, the problems in the Law Fu Alchemy Commission that have accumulated over the years have finally come to the surface. Like rats leaving a sinking ship. Head Don't say rat. Ass. Wrong game. Many healers are obsessed with medical research. But they very rarely communicate with each other. The factions I miss Scott. <laughs> no, shut up about Scott. We ain't talking about Scott here. Get Scott out of here. Of the commission's current situation. I've seen a lot of messy things, but it's rare to see something as messy as this. Wow. The cauldron master must deal with a lot of trouble in her daily work, no? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's just how work is. Well, yeah. These problems can't be can we get like? In one day? I'm not trying to be mean, but can we get to the abilities of Lingsha? I'm really, I'm really wanting to know. I won't go easy. Whoa! What was it that Chen Shui said? When the sky falls, there's always someone tall to hold it up. The Cauldron Master is both tall and capable. No matter how much trouble. Who the third is, what? She'll be able to handle it. Then I hope your words ring true, Miss March. Oh, and thank you to Mr. Albert for interpreting for me. The scent of this smart bird definitely has gourmand notes. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that not only is Miss Ling Shaw good at identifying people by smell, she is also quite capable in combat. As a healer, let's I see this. Come on. Using incense to heal others, but also. Oh, incense. it's just Moza or Moz. My skill deals damage to all enemies. Okay. And HP for all allies. Okay. My talent, my skill summons the incense beast, Fu Yuen. Fu Yuen launches a follow-up attack during its action, dealing damage to all enemies. It also dispels one debuff from all allies and restores... Let's go! Okay. So Lingxia's definitely going to be phase out team. But it looks like she'll be able to help out Firefly too. I created from inside the Cuz I see her on a Firefly team. And that's what I want to know. But since it's an incense beast, it dissipates like smoke after a few actions. <gasps> Can we make it stay a little longer? Yes, it's not too difficult. When Fu Yuan is on the field, I only need to use my skill to increase its number of actions. Okay. When I use my ultimate, I deal damage to all enemies and heal all allies. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I inflict the befog state on all enemies. Enemies in this state also take more break damage. Let's go, baby! Firefly team! Gallagher already gone, baby. And inflict befog on all enemies. Gallagher already gone, man. Gallagher's gone. Don't worry about Gallagher anymore. Lizard girls take it over. This is the biggest fumble in the history of this program. I'm so done for. Uh, what now? Mr. Moza, could you help us out and introduce yourself? My name is Moza. I'm General Fei Shao's shadow guard. A four, new four star. Let's check him out. Dude, he farted. Dude, Moz, Moza like just loves to fart, dude. He needs to stop. There's a lot of farting. Dude, he looks cool as an assassin. My though. work doesn't really lend itself to being in the limelight. <laughs> yeah, we didn't really think that through. It can't be helped, Mr. Albert. 
The general said this is Mords' first time doing a media interview. I apologize for his bluntness. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I just didn't expect such a skilled general to need a shadow guard to protect her. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Albert hasn't fully grasped the situation. A shadow guard working at the general's side isn't the same as a bodyguard. Uh, Mr. Mwodza is mainly in charge of gathering intelligence. Mm -hmm. He helps the general deal with matters that she can't personally deal with. Could it be? I've heard legends about a crow-feathered weirdo on the Yao Jing. This man fights crime. Often hiding in the shadows, taking the heads of his targets. He strikes with extreme brutality and has scared off many people who would. I mean, that sounds like him. Zhao Cho made that all up. It sounds like there'd be feathers all over the place. That's not me. Cleans up. I clean up after myself. Yeah! I called it, baby. I called it. I literally called it. Chat, I think you I think if you haven't done so already, because I called that, you all need to be uh you all need to become members. Become members. Do it. I did what I needed to. Dude, he's sweeping. Mr. Moza. What are you doing? The floor is dirty. Finally eliminating years of stubborn filth. It's indeed refreshing. As expected of someone with so much initiative. Now, let's take a look at how Mr. Moza performs in battle. Yep, let's take a look at that. <sighs> All right. Mr. Moza is a lightning type character following the path of the hunt. World Throne. Correct. His skill marks a single enemy as the prey and deals lightning damage to it. That yes. Moza is Kave I Yeah, Since I believe so, right? Yeah. Are you asking me to? Uh, um, no. All right, then. My talent will allow me to enter the departed state while a prey exists on the field. Um. Fine, I'll continue then. In the departed state, after allies attack the prey, Moza deals additional damage to the prey. Mr. Moza's ultimate deals damage to a single target and launches a follow-up attack. After I okay. use my technique, I will enter stealth mode. Attacking an enemy in stealth mode increases the damage dealt in combat. Okay. Ten steps in and one is slain. A thousand miles won't stay his pace. The deed is done. His robes are clean. He buries them all and leaves no trace. There's another advantage of hiding. When you're on a mission, you can avoid getting the area or yourself dirty. Dude, he is a neat freak, germaphobe. Uh, we've introduced our guests. <laughs> Let's take a quick break for our sponsor. Let's go. Okay, we'll continue after. Another code, baby. All oh, right, no, nope, never mind. We now have some special news for you. In version 2.5, oh, okay. first half warp event. Trolls oh, Moza, Asta, and Luca. Okay. The limited five-star light code. Okay. Adventure forth to hunt. That's not a bad lineup. Boosted drop rate. Not a bad lineup. A special warp event will be launched in the first half of 2.5. The limited five-star characters, Robin, Black Swan, and Kaka, will return at the same time. The limited five-star light code, Flowing Night Glow. We're doing three reruns in the one also What? I need to remind everyone that in this special warp event, the warp count for the guaranteed five-star will be shared among the rerun banners and current limited banners. Switching banners during the warp will not Oh my god. Say goodbye to all your stellar jades, bro. Say goodbye to all your stellars. I'm just telling you right now. Warp events will open periodically, giving viewers more opportunities to invite their favorite characters. That's insane. And if you don't want to invite them, you can still get more stellar jades and trial stages. Wow. In version 2.5, second half. Are we doing that for this for the next one too? Okay, so Misha, Natasha, and Gwenifen. Okay. Five star light cone since alone stays true. Dude, that light cone is so hot. Holy crap. At the same time, the four star light cone shadowed by night will be available in the second half. Mode says light cone. Not to mention the drop. So phase two is only one rerun, but phase one is three reruns. Five star light cone. What? What is that? What is that BS, man? All right, that's all for our commercial. That is insane. Our special news, dear viewers. We'll see you in a bit. Robin, Kafka, and 
freaking black swan getting a rerun all in the all in like phase one dude that's bonkers to me but at the same time i feel like that's gonna be what they gotta do from now on right because and and just hear me out with as many characters as they've done it makes sense for them to start tripling up on banners and saying take your pick on these three this is if you want one of them grab them but god it's gonna be tough for people not to spend their stellar jades now robin is like an amazing support kafka is an amazing nihility unit and same with black swan but phase Zhao, oh my god bro her abilities look absolutely insane linksha replacing gallagher is bonkers to me gallagher already power crap that's insane moza looks okay i'm not i'm not i'm not out there to build moza to be honest welcome back dear viewers all right, okay. events. We will be introducing the latest news about the war dance ceremony. Events, baby. But, uh, but our communications with the onset reporter haven't been restored. <laughs> Leave it to me, Mr. Albert. Where is the connection port in the studio? Uh huh? What happened? I brought back the footage. Uh, hi, Albert. That was so scary. New so player friendly banner. Oh yeah, dude. Hard drive and said something about Basically new player friend studio? friendly banner, yeah. What's going on? I used a hard drive to bring back March 7th's footage, and I'll use it to send over the studio's footage. It's very simple. <laughs> Looks like we can continue the program. Let's go. Oh, this is how you solve the problem. Will it not be too difficult for Mr. Mozza to run back and forth like that? Why? It's just running. Uh, my apologies. Then thank you for your hard work, Mr. Moza. <laughs> hey, Part 7, can you hear me? Yes, Albert. The uh, highly anticipated war dance is about to begin. And it'll take place on the sky splitter right behind me. That's we such a crazy transition. On the upper floor of the sky splitter. That's a crazy transition. Bravo, HSR. The most anticipated event, the Wafu Ringmasters match, will be held here. To prepare for the war dance, the Sienjo Wafu transformed this old military battleship into the venue. That looks so sick, bro. So on the sky splitter, you can see many traces of military weapons. Like this huge cannon. This That's the bonkers, cannon man. the Sky Splitter was equipped with. It's now used for ceremonial gun salutes. Whenever a ceremony convenes, the Sky Splitter will fire a salute. Apart from the competition That's so cool. on the deck, Okay, so we can actually go inside the ship. The so it's a new map. It's a brand new map. To different areas to serve the contestants, tourists, and the media. Farther down, there are more areas like the contestant training area and the star skiff entry and exit hold. Currently, the war dance is still open for registration. If you're interested in participating, you can sign up in the reception hall. We look forward to everyone coming to the Sky Splitter March 7th, bringing you this latest report. Thank you, March 7th. The Luminary War Dance, the highlight. Yep, and there's the Eidolons right there. Finally convened. And it looks like we're getting a new player card too. Totally. Lots of new player card. Let's go. It's got Luca a young queen on it. The general also says, "Making friends through martial arts is one of my favorite things to do. If I were allowed to, I'd go and fight a few rounds too." If the general participated, there'd be nothing to compete for. To keep the competition interesting, the best masters aren't allowed to participate. I'm guessing that the crew of the Astro Express chose not to participate for the same reason. Of course. After thinking it through, we decided to keep our reputation a secret and let the trailblazer play the role of the gray-haired coach who doesn't understand martial arts. Let's go. A red-haired, iron-armed young man from Balaba has also come to the Sea and Jolofu. Luca, baby. That the planet that was once hidden in a snowstorm. I have heard very little about it. It seems that routes from Balaba to other worlds have now. Luca versus Yanqing is gonna be That's sick. That's right. This young man's name is Luca. 
Now we're gonna get a free Luca. He's come to the war dance. We're gonna get a free Luca. Watch. That's why. That's why they're. That's why they're talking about Luca. Entire cosmos for the first time. He represents the hopes of the entire planet. <laughs> the young man is leaving the nest for the first time and will be in an unfamiliar place. If he has no one to guide him, he will likely run into many obstacles. Don't worry, Miss Lingsha. Don't forget that the Trailblazer is also coming to the Sky Splitter. Mm -hmm. Our dear Trailblazer is known for being a kind hearted person. They will definitely not sit by and watch the last three Eidolons for March. Yes, like sir. During the war dance. The Trailblazer will become Luca's gold medal coach and fight with them through all the challenges. Okay. According to the intel I've collected, the Luminary War Dance event consists of multiple competitions. Okay, that's kind of different, but okay. Contestants must first participate in a point-based tournament to earn points, and only after accumulating a certain number of points will they qualify for the face-off match of that competition. Oh, so it's exactly right. like the previous Our event. Contestant Luca needs to defeat key but, opponents in yeah. each face-off match one by one before he can face the ringmaster Yin Shing in the final showdown. In order to show that the IPC takes this event seriously, the Inner Astral Peace Corporation will also participate in the war dance under the guidance of Coach Topaz. They okay, we're going to fight Topaz? Okay, bet. Competition. In addition, Boo Hill. Ranger Boo Hill and the Knight of Beauty Argenti will appear in the arena in various roles. Dude, what a cast. The Trailblazer will need to help Luca display his martial What a cast, man. And earn the support of Luca the Topaz Argenti and Boo Hill. Individually earned by what a cast, man. How much the audience supports either side. So, the audience outside the ring can provide assistance? <laughs> it's just Increasing audience participation and providing a more immersive experience. Completing designated actions during the match and achieving highlights will greatly increase your vibes and conversely cause your opponent's vibes to decrease. Yo! When either participant's vibes are we matching vibes, bro? The match will enter the enhanced. Are we matching vibes? State. Because if we're not matching vibes, we can't vibe together, bro. We'll gain stronger buffs. And easily win the match. All right then, March seven. Is there anything you want to add? <sighs> Watching the preparations for Dang, the I thought they were gonna say free Luca. Has my hands itching for more? It just so happens I've learned a few moves from my masters. So why don't I take the opportunity to show them to everyone? <sighs> ha. Watch this. How's that? Pretty cool, huh? Oh, you better believe I'll reach the top of the board dance with my skills. When that happens, good job, March. Call me Sword Champion, March 7th. Oh, 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 Can we get an epic chat for Genshin? No, Genshin's doing good. Like, I, like, Genshin's doing good still. Come on. Genshin's doing better now. I found the problem. This guy chewed through the wires. That's why there was a problem with March 7th's connection. Ooh, isn't this a tough star? I have one too. It is a creature that subsists on memoria. Hugging it while you fall asleep can raise your sleep quality and relieve anxiety and depression. Such a lively touch for her. Does it take after its owner? This is a little sudden, but its owner is the Trailblazer. That's right. Trailblazers can obtain the pet Tusper by completing activities related to the. Do we get a piggy? And summon it to their side. What does he do, though? Thanks to oh, Mr. that's it. Rosa for discovering it. <laughs> But is that it? Like that's all. That's all. Like the like the doesn't do anything. Currently fixing the line. Let's proceed. Great. Let's check out the other exciting that's events. That's a revelry. Okay. Riding the wave of the war dance ceremony. Oh, are we gonna do like the old like puzzles and stuff on the Lofu? Fair, offering different fair activities at locations like the Artistship Commission, the Shackling Prison, the Sky Splitter, and the Divination Commission. Okay. For instance. 
The fun inventory arrangement gameplay that Trailblazers loved is making a comeback. Let's go! We'll need to stack cargo on star skiffs to reach the shipping target. And, and that'll be cool. Fair activity has both normal so yeah, it's gonna bring back a whole bunch of uh after finishing all the normal levels. Tapar taper and piggy. Difficulty. Absolutely, Complete dude. Different activities to collect rewards. Okay. Using the shackling it's just a puzzle event. A I dig that. Is Again, I like HSR's strange. diversity it's also to when it comes to events. Up the judges' free time with some fun cultural activities and bring everyone closer together. <clears throat> and, and, and that's not all. Divergent <laughs> universe. To the divergent universe. We just got the level sixty the to like. It, we're going Brings eighty points. Curios, okay. Weighted curios and occurrences, along with some tweaks having been made to okay. existing equations. Okay. Okay. New stuff for me to collect. Provide trailblazers with a wider range of battle experiences and gameplay modes. I dig it. The adventure domain in the Divergent Universe now features Cowboy Show. Oh, this one. Yes. Surging firepower challenges. Each okay. challenge has different objectives, wherein Trailblazers need to achieve the highest scores possible to earn adventure rewards. During the I'm pretty excited for that. Reward targets such as Cosmic Fragment targets and Curio targets will randomly appear. Smashing these targets will grant corresponding rewards, adding bonuses. Let's to the go. Okay. That's going to be actually fun. Okay. I like that. And I, I love this Divergent Universe, to be honest. Would you like to give it a try? If not, I'm up next. Direct face offs don't suit me. If I must pick one, it'll be surging firepower. Yeah. <laughs> Since you're here, why not join the fun? We've added Adventure Arcade near the Divergent Universe's activation device on the Radiant Feldspar. In the arcade, you can try out a variety of new and old adventure modes. Oh! Nice job. You forgot okay. to make your time on your You can actually pray. Bro, we were just talking about the gear being annoying. We can actually, like, we can practice. Dr. Ratio has added more path equations to the Divergent Universe, allowing trailblazers to explore even more trails. The synchronicity level has also been increased to level 80, and the research of geniuses and Monday nights continues. <laughs> That's not all. The divergent universe Ooh, has also added two those new are pretty. The sunken seas and the wondrous. Those are pretty art. ornaments. In the next update. Players can look forward to the release of Stagnant Shadow Shape Oh, okay, Stagnant Shadow stuff. All right. And Stagnant Shadow Shape of Gloom. By completing the challenge, you can obtain the lightning type character. Man, I can try out the laser grid one. Nope. That one just sucks. And the wind type character is <laughs> material, a glass of the Basada era. These materials will be used by Masters Mosa and Faisha, respectively. Mm -hmm. The Planar Fisher and Realm of the Strange Events are also making a comeback. <laughs> Viewers, Always good. Sure to grab the Always good to have the double rewards. I love it. Uh, all that info in one breath. Take it easy on yourself, Albert. Whew. That's work for Lingsha just like going <laughs> off. All there right. Even more great things ahead. All right, so I'm pretty stoked on the events in general. I like the <coughs> I like the differences in the events themselves, but at the end of the day, like they're pretty standard. I wonder what optimizations they're going to bring up. I think the optimizations are going to be key to if this is going to be like a big, big thing or a big, small thing. You know what I mean? Because we we all know that in general, this update is like a side story, but it's it's really cool and like in general, it's got overarching for a small story, you know. So I don't know. I'm very excited for these events, but I want to know what else is coming. Like, farming new planner ornaments are gonna suck, but it is what it is. I'll do anything for my foxy and woman. And look at that epic side boot, man. Welcome back, everyone. Now that we've come to the end of the show. I thought there was more to come. It's already the end of the show. Here comes the exciting part. Here we go. The audience loves most. The never-ending, never-absent gift of Odyssey. <laughs> what? Why did you say anything? Gift of Odyssey, baby. Always shut it out with me.
You're right. That's actually pretty exciting. Mm hmm. Right. Also in version 2.5, we've added new system optimizations for our audience. Let's oh, see it. Tell us about it. Version 2.5 introduces a new pre-battle difficulty selection feature and the option to reselect the difficulty after a failed battle. Trailblazers can choose between casual mode and normal mode when facing formidable enemies. If you want a more laid-back adventure, Trailblazers can opt for the casual mode. Is it using some type of sacred instrument to weaken Does enemies? Does that make it... It's dimensional tech. You could also... Does that make it to where, like, you get less rewards or no? Finally connected. The show hasn't finished yet, right? Not yet. We're just about to say goodbye to everyone. Aww. Well, it's been a really long day. Well, at least I managed to catch the end. Uh, I'd like to express my gratitude to... I'm... Okay. Peace Media. The war dance ceremony organizers, my two masters, and most importantly, the trailblazers for their encouragement. <laughs> uh, I, uh... <laughs> my seventh! Kitty, how would they accept this speech? Uh, I saw that other shows always end with a lot of thank yous. Anyway, I look forward to seeing everyone on the Sky Splitter and wish all of the contestants the best of luck. Casual bot <laughs> taking March reward. I assume what? I could never say it that nicely. <clears throat> And at the end of the show, General Fei Xiao asked me to deliver these words to everyone. Ooh, hold on. From providing testimonies to being entangled in the shackling prison incident, the Trailblazers are valued guests of the Alliance, who have come to our aid numerous times, only to face dangers repeatedly. There is undoubtedly a shortcoming in our hospitality, and we take full responsibility. We will swiftly address this crisis and provide a vibrant war dance for everyone to enjoy. At the same time, I would like to take this opportunity to present a small gift to the Trailblazers. Hey, yo! Wishing them a smooth journey ahead. Ooh! To express, face any difficulties in the future. Okay! 1,000 stellar jades, 10, like, Trailblaze hey, thingies, and oh my god, that was... HSR continues to give and give. Wait, March? There's something behind you. Huh? What? Hey, isn't that? If Albert's on the sky splitter, then who's this sitting here? Someone here wants double pay. I really hope you understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> A strong desire to improve myself. Yeah, there you go again. Uh, what? Okay, was that it? Yep, that was it. All right. That was a good live stream in general. We got a bunch of like really, really cool stuff. Very exciting. Uh, Fei Zhao just looks absolutely bonkers. I'm so excited for her. I love her. Um, um link show looks good again replacing gallagher which is absolutely bonkers um like we're getting four banners in phase one four banners we're getting the phase out banner with moza right and then we get robin kafka and black swan phase two being link show and topaz what the heck is going on like i i just don't get I, I, well, I do get it because it's like we have so many characters now. It makes sense to go that direction, but we'll see if that continues on in the future. We'll have to see. But we did see that we're getting a bunch of really, really good rewards, right? We're getting obviously Gift of Odyssey, which is the normal. We're getting free 1000 Stellar Jades, uh, 10 potions of, you know, giving us free energy stuff, you know, all that good stuff. And yeah, it's like HSR continues to pump out genuinely good like quality updates and that's what i really like about hsr um i i think the amount of praise hsr gets has gone down significantly which sucks but hsr continues to deliver that's my personal opinion i can't wait for the story the fact that we're getting a phase out boss as well amazing i love it so much so let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite part of this live stream was it you know, Fei Zhao being as amazingly gorgeous as she is? Was it Ling Xiao being as beautiful as she is? Was it the banners? Was it the new events coming? Was it Divergent Universe going and getting a great update, you know? I don't know. I don't know. But 
Anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you think. I love this update. Uh, it's fantastic. So that's going to be it for me. Love you all to death. And as always, we'll catch you in that next video. Please take care and be safe.